My name is Jeremy Benning, and I'm a cinematographer. We wanted to keep the, the, the look of the show grounded with the science. So try to keep it real. Try to keep that the environments are lit from within the spaces so you feel like you're in a real environment, whether, whether you're in a ship or an asteroid colony. The lighting is built into the walls, the ceilings, the floors, and that allowed us a, a lot of freedom with camera movement and staging of where the actors wanted to move. And you know, LED lighting technology was obviously a big part of that because we could build it into the sets without making things hot. And you know, we're in enclosed spaces, so that low heat factor is a great thing. And of course, everything is controlled remotely, so we have total control over every strip of light that's in, in the sets. We carry three minis full time, and some days we use all three. We pretty much have one dedicated to the Movi, which is always built in the Movi because it's, it's a more stripped down build of the camera. So you pick it up in your hand and you realize how tiny it is. And right away you think of like all the things you can do with it because it's so small. And we always end up getting stuck in a place where you're up against a wall in a small space. It's actually allowed us to do things that we couldn't do before because of the fact that the lens mount is centered in the body, which meant we could actually put our, our Cook S5s on the Mini. What, what Aerie does in the last 25 years or so I've been doing it, they're always seeming to be getting involved with what people are, are wanting and, and evolving with the needs of the industry. Because every time I see what, what the next new thing is coming out, it's always based on like, well, this is what we heard from our, our customers and this is what we're trying to, trying to make better or trying to change. We worked with Air Canada and Sebastian to really help getting lens data working within a couple weeks before we started shooting. Our show is so VFX intensive that having that lens data was a big help for saving time in post. It saves them a couple hours per shot and set up in, in, v, in VFX world, which for us, we're doing two or 300 visual effects shots per episode. So that adds up to a lot of time that they're not wasting on, on tracking and that sort of thing. A, they can do more for less money because of that, and also our focus pulls and all the things we're doing in the lenses is, is much more seamless with their shots, which is great. When the minis came out, when I realized that you could now drive the focus system internally from the body of the camera, and you don't need this box anymore on the camera, that's like, wow, this is a great, thing is again we can strip down the camera even more so now we have two WCU4 systems out of our three cameras that we use all the time so we're using the internal MDR in the camera the small motors and we have the full lens data system working with the hand units now so we can you know our focus puller can see the readouts on the hand unit and it's it's again another evolution of of a better way to work like I, now I can't imagine not having it because it's it's such a great simple streamlined system that it's made our ability to put the camera in smaller places even even better